humans. Do you guys notice anything different about me? Maybe a hundred things. I decided to unleash my true self and expose my dark fairy wings. That's actually not what we're here to talk about today. You guys know I'm a little bit obsessed with UGC, right? Okay, do you see I'm wearing UGC? From head to toe, the most exciting development with UGC is that creators are now able to make things that go around the waist, not just the heads like in previous videos I've done. Now, for those of you guys who are not familiar with UGC, UGC stands for User Generated Content. And you can find all of it right here in the Roblox catalog. All you have to do is click Catalog and then click on the Community Creations tab you see here. And these are all items that were actually made by members of the community. Now they have guidelines they have to follow, they have to be certain sizes. So the fact that people are able to get this creative and come up with so many amazing, amazing items just blows my mind. So I've already done a video doing accessory hacks with UGC items, but they added skirts and you guys, I need you to see these right now. Okay, so the first skirt I wanna show off here is the black pleated skirt by Arivia, which my character is currently wearing right now. It cost me 120 Robux. We also have, I've seen a lot of people wearing this skirt. This is the pink bow tutu skirt and it costs 150. They recommend you try it with waterfall curls. This is also made by the same creator, by Beism. Very, very talented creator, has made a ton of items, and you didn't hear it here, but I heard she's really an alien from Area 51. Nobody tell her that I spilled the tea. So we are definitely going to buy the pink skirt right now. There is also a blue bow tutu skirt by Beism for 150, and I hope I have enough Robux for all of this. We have a gorgeous blue ombre skirt by Arithia, so I'm definitely going to be buying that too. Basically, I'm gonna buy all of the UGC skirts and see how it looks with stuff in Morel High. I'm super curious. Oh, I don't know how I didn't even know this one was here yet. There is a black bow tutu skirt. I am definitely buying that one too. And then a white tutu skirt, which I do not have. All right, so I had to actually buy some more Robux to complete this video so I could get Mitsa's white beautiful tutu skirt and I did just add it. So I think I actually wanna start with the pink bow tutu skirt because I'm already wearing the black one and I put on a ton of clothes with that already in Roblox. So I wanna start with the pink one. Woo, okay, so we spawned by the trash, rude. But we have our pink tutu on, oh my gosh. Ooh, it's so floofy. Okay, everybody, so here is my character currently. This is the outfit my character has on. But I'm just feeling like, I don't know, I feel like the torso of my character needs a little bit of work. I feel like it is a little bit too thick the shape of this UGC skirt, so I'm gonna try it on with a torso in Royal High. So we're gonna go ahead, and I know this is sad, we're gonna take off our Melody Martinez hair. <laughs> Here I also have the black pleated skirt on. I don't know if I believe them. I see a pink skirt, so I'm not gonna take it off. Oh my gosh, there's a new cloud face, and it looks bad with cheeks, as usual. Everything looks bad with my cheeks face, why? This one looks fine though. Okay, new makeup by Tourmaline Roses. Happy to put it on, super cute. Okay, so this brings us to our torso section. So as of now, I have three different torsos, guys. We have the Dear Dolly, we have the Miss Lady Rose Bodice, we have the Shadow Empress Chained Bodice, and I think I really wanna try this on with the Dear Dolly because hello, it is pink, it is floofy, and I'm gonna see if there's any fabrics that match. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 what is happening here? Whoa. Do my arms normally look like this when I put this on? Huh, and I feel like it covered up my arms. I think we're definitely gonna need heels with this to kind of get the full effect and obviously some hair. <laughs> Sorry, I snatched your hair. We're gonna put it back on right now and I think I wanna do a half up, half down hairstyle. Let's go ahead and see if we can find any cute, ooh, I liked those buns. I think those buns were cute. Ooh, let's find more pink hair. Maybe we could do like a little blonde to pink. Oh, she's glowing, yes. Okay, so obviously we're gonna put on the shoes that go with this outfit, the Dear Dolly ribbon heels. We're gonna do a nice little sparkly pink color and try to put some neck accessories on. I want a completed outfit here. Oh, we can make her a full-on ballerina. 
I think we should give her a cute little ribbon necklace that matches her outfit because that's just adorable. And I think it kind of like adds to the little sparkly vibe we have going on up top. We definitely want something in the hair. Sadly, I have no halos, but I'm sure we could find something cute to put in her hair for an accessory. We just gotta look around. Oh my gosh, we could be covered in bows, yes! All right, everyone, so here is my first UGC outfit hack complete. And I think this one actually turned out pretty cute. So I'm actually super surprised at how well this skirt goes with literally all of these Royal High accessories. I was a little bit skeptical. I was like, you know what? It might just be like way too much. I mean, I think I probably put too many bows on this thing, but let's just take a look at the back of the outfit. So from the back, it, there is a lot of bows going on here, <laughs> but I still like it. I, I just think it's doing the most. I have to say, I am pleasantly very surprised with my first UGC skirt, trying it on with an outfit here in Royal High. I'm really impressed at how well all the items fit together with stuff that's already in game. And I'm ready to do some more outfits with skirts. Let's do this, people. All right, so the next skirt that I really, really want to make an outfit with here is the blue ombre skirt by Arivia. So we're going to put it on our character right now. I also really love this button where you could just click wear and it puts it straight on your avatar. Okay, so it is equipped on our character. And this one seems to have a different placement than the previous skirt we put on. As you can see, the previous skirt sat a little bit lower on the waist. The blue ombre skirt here seems to sit at a more natural waistline, so I'm pretty excited about that. Now right off the bat, I'm noticing this does have a very beautiful blue gradient. So I'm already kind of thinking of some things that would look good with this type of fabric and pattern that we have in Royal High. I actually don't think I need to change my torso for this one because it sits a little bit higher up on the character's waist. So I'm going to see if there's any clothes that kind of work well already with the style of the skirt. And I think I want giant blue pigtails for this one. I'm pretty sure this is the look that I want. Oh, that actually goes so good with it. You guys, use the hair color Tropical Waters with the blue ombre skirt, please. And then obviously, because I'm just that girl, we are gonna look for mermaid stuff, of course, and I really love this skeleton mermaid outfit by Miss Mudbin. I'm not gonna wear it, but I just wanted everyone to know how much I love it. I don't care if Halloween's over, but I do think that this outfit here by Electro Horse under the sea ocean mermaid is probably gonna be a little bit of a better look for us. I think I'm gonna do a mermaid skin tone too. You guys know I love using the fantasy skin tones. I wish we had more of them. You guys see, we have a range of natural skin tones, which I do kind of wish we had more of. I wish we could organize skin tone by hue. So if you want more of a rosy undertone, a neutral undertone, one of those, you could kind of arrange it that way. Also, I've noticed a lot of the makeups don't work well with darker skin tones. So makeup designers, please keep those darker skin tones in mind when you're doing your shading. But for now, it won't matter because we're choosing blue. So I'm gonna look for mermaid makeups too. I love that that's a category. It's so much easier to find all of the mermaid makeups that you're looking for. And there are honestly so many good ones. Just Shark Boy has made a ton. There's the Siren Girls makeups, but I think my favorite mermaid makeups are by Komaki. Ooh, I've actually never worn this mermaid makeup by Antelique before, so I think I'm gonna wear this one right here. I just like how it looks, to be honest. So looking at all of our mermaid accessories, I definitely want to find stuff that kind of goes with the theme of this all. Ooh, ooh, will this be visible? Yeah, you can see the jewel poking through my forehead. Oh, that is amazing. Okay, we're gonna make it very sparkly then, sparkly. Obviously, we're gonna need the mermaid royalty crown, also in our amazing blue hues. <gasps> that looks so good together! And I really wanted to try the Miss Lady Rose bow on with this skirt. We're obviously gonna need some heels here. So I think since we have a bow on the back, we could probably do some really dramatic bow heels again. And I'm excited to see how all this looks. What about you guys? Ah, so I wanted to show you guys <laughs> this little skirt hack in a pretty location because you guys, I really feel like this bow was meant to go with this UGC skirt. Just take a look at it. Look at how amazing the lace looks. It all comes together so well. And I actually really love these heels with it. You guys, 
Look at this beautiful hack. So I'm gonna give you guys a twirl. It looks beautiful from the front. And I think because the lace is so delicate on this bow and also the layers of the ombre, I like how it has the darker color at the top. It makes it so much easier to match clothes to. And I mean, come on guys. It looks good from every direction. I'm super obsessed with this outfit hack. What about you guys though? I'm really curious to see. First of all, do you guys have any of these skirts? Leave a comment and let me know down below. One more thing guys, I always forget to tell you about this, so I'm gonna make a point to A, tell you guys to subscribe more, because every time I check my analytics on YouTube, basically it screams at me and it's like, people aren't subscribed, like all these people are watching your videos and they're not actually subscribed. I feel like maybe that's because I don't ask you guys or remind you enough, so first of all, if you're new here, I would love it for you to stay. Please subscribe, I have so much content coming up. And also another way you can really help me out, if you guys are already planning on buying Robux, I know that a lot of stuff came out for Day of the Dead, for Halloween, we know a new shop is coming, so if you guys are planning on buying Robux, please use my star code CYBERNOVA. So when you guys actually click to buy Robux, you can click the amount that you want, let's say you're going to get 440 As you can see, there's a little screen right here and it says have a star code to support your favorite Roblox video star. Click here and that is where you can enter my star code, CYBERNOVA, as you guys know, my regular old name everywhere. And then that really helps me out, so please guys, if you would use my star code, I would really appreciate it. Okay guys, I don't often wear white, I'm more of a black person, and actually, to be honest, I'm wearing a shirt that has white on it today, this is very uncharacteristic of me. I promise you, I'm not usually like this. We'll go back to my vampy self soon enough, but not after I try on this white tutu skirt and make an outfit with it again. This white tutu skirt is by Meatsta, and it is 125 Robux. Okay, you guys are about to be super shook right now because I'm going to make a white angel outfit. Hello, that is the opposite of me right now. I think the last time I made a white outfit, I was doing a wedding dress challenge. So this will be interesting. I never wear white in this game. So I guess we'll go with some angel hair first. I'm gonna make my hair, I think, the white blonde because that is my natural color underneath this weave. So we're gonna do this beautiful little white blonde. Why isn't it showing me my hair? <gasps> What is happening? Oh, do I have to take this off? Okay. Ooh, that's pretty angelic. Hmm, I don't think they have an angel theme. I think mermaid is kind of the only theme. So why don't we do makeup color white? Oh, that's a cute little angel face. I want to make our skin color like super, super, super white too. We're going to be a ghost angel, I guess. Okay, so I had to reset because my skirt wasn't showing up and I have to say, it just feels so wrong to not be wearing any black at all, but it's okay. I think we're gonna go ahead and put on a torso because I think with the shape of this skirt and where it hits on the body, that it definitely needs a slimmer waistline to really make this skirt pop. Okay, so we're gonna check out all of our torsos over here. I'm really thinking we should just keep it simple with the Miss Lady Rose bodice. I think we're just gonna, oh no. I think that almost looks worse than our regular body uh okay okay i'm determined to find something that looks good with this because the skirt is too cute and i want to make it work i like the diamonds <gasps> wait a second what if we put on some poofy sleeves because the skirt is poofy so first of all we got to put on shoes we got to like bring this whole look together somehow i definitely want something that gives me thinner legs for this character so i think we might do the cute little head over heels Oh wait, we have flowers from the garden. Oh no, we should do winged unicorn. What am I talking about? Let's get those winged unicorns on. Okay, here, here. I think this is gonna really tie it all together. We're gonna do diamond poofy sleeves. <gasps> and it does look good, yay. I think I'm gonna need to do some hair that's up and kind of like not in the way of this outfit because my outfit is just getting kind of crazy at this point. <laughs> so let's look for like a ponytail or some buns, like something simple. Maybe we'll just do regular buns. Just. Just keep it simple. I feel like I need a new face. I feel like this face just, it makes me look mean and I wanna look cute. There we go, that's cute, that's cute. Oh my gosh, this looks so good so far. Wait, but why do we actually look so cute right now, people? We need a couple more accessories and I think we're almost done. Okay, so obviously we are going to need some fashionista sunglasses. I probably should have just kept them white so we could see her face better. Hey everyone, so here is the completed look that I came up with. I ended up putting some boys hair on because the buns were just sticking through the hat. 
But oh my gosh, people, look at how cute this outfit looks. So I think this skirt definitely does work with the bodice, but it makes the arms kind of stick out a little bit and it makes the proportions look a little bit off with the body. So if you guys are gonna do this look, I highly recommend wearing it with these poofy sleeves. I think the shape of the skirt, it does have those little poofs at the bottom too. So I think this actually looks really cute all together. I mean, a gorgeous little sundress with this white skirt. And I know that it's not the time of year to be wearing white, but you guys better believe if I have some sort of white dress only event to go to in Royal High, I'm going to be wearing this outfit. I'm actually really pleased with how it turned out. But as you all know, dark colors are the way to my soul. I think I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna reset and try to do an outfit with the skirt that I wore in the beginning of the video, the black pleated skirt, because we already made an outfit with a tutu skirt in the same shape, and I just want a completely cute, like, witchy school girl type of look. Thank the Odd Sisters and Sabrina, we're doing this. Oh man, I wanted a spoopy location to do my outfit in, but I think this is a Spoopy as we're gonna get. Anybody else miss Autumn Town? Leave a like if you miss Autumn Town and you want it to come back, please. Ugh, but as you guys know, I've been wearing this outfit for a few videos now, and I think it's time to make a proper hack with it. You know, I wanna look my gothy best. First things first, I definitely wanna put on my Shadow Empress chained boots with these and just see how they look. And I think I wanna do some starry, witchy fabric. Oh, my legs are in the ground. There we go. Oh, that's cute. Um, this actually looks so cute together because there is white on the stars and we have a stripy little skirt. I feel like this skirt was made to wear with these shoes and I'm so here for it. I might even keep my dark halo on because we saved the spoopiest outfit for last and I need it. I, I don't have a halo thing. Okay. I also really want to see, I kind of wanted to see how all the Dear Dolly stuff looks with this because, okay, come on, it's like a gothic wonderland. We're going to make it star again. <gasps> Oh my gosh! I have to say, so far this skirt is definitely fitting with the torsos the best, just in my opinion from what I've tried on so far. I think just the shape of it, the way it kind of hides a lot of the body, really gives it a good hourglass shape, so I'm really pleased with what we have so far. And I love this. I love this Melanie Martinez hair. Ah, I'm so excited all this shadow Empress stuff works! And I'm sure this is gonna be gross and I'm gonna have to take it off. I just wanted to try gothic lolita sleeves and I think I'm gonna hand color it. I think we're gonna try black and white to match the skirt and put on a different hairstyle so we can really, really see what's going on. So going back to the girls' hairstyles, I kinda wanna put on a short bob and ooh, I'm already seeing a problem with the sleeves. You can see whatever outfit I had on underneath, which was the Adam is Mine t-shirt. I swear Ducky put it on, I did not put that on. The Empress set does have sleeves though, so I think we need to just try those on just because. Okay guys, so we're gonna try on these Shadow Empress Fallen Angel sleeves and then take off the other sleeves, the Gothic Lolita sleeves. You know what, I'm not gonna lie. I think I like the other ones better. So I think we're gonna put those ones back on. Why not? Yeah, I liked it better. Let's do it. Really wish we had a reset button and undo button. Okay, so here's our Gothic Lolitas. We're gonna put it back on in the colors that we had previously picked. Leave it at that. Ooh, so I definitely want a little dark or a little spooky makeup going on here. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Wait, there's so many cute little goth faces. Yes. Oh, I do, I do love. I do love this Enchantress face. Obviously we're gonna want the Shadow Empress Jewel to crown with this, just to kind of complete our whole witchy look. And here you have it, people. So this is the outfit hack that I came up with for our final skirt from the UGC catalog. And I'm gonna go ahead and put links to all the skirts that I made hacks with in the description of this video in case you guys wanna buy it. And I really hope you guys do buy some of these items and support the artists. I know that they are constantly talking about all the work that they're doing. They a lot of time making these UGC creations so please go show them some support and actually some of these skirts are way cheaper than the stuff that we can get in Royal High so if you guys don't have a ton of Robux but you still want to get like a really cool unique looking outfit I definitely suggest you guys look into buying some of these items as you can see here from this final hack you can really make some unique and interesting looks that fit your personal style and I am so happy with this skirt I think it's gonna look good 
with a lot of the other items I actually own in Royal High and want to try on looks with. So definitely let me know if you would like to see me do some more outfit hacks with any of the other UGC items in the catalog. And again, guys, definitely check out the UGC creations because I think there's going to be a ton of stuff you didn't know about that you might actually end up liking. And I've just noticed there's actually glasses in here that look just like the ones I'm wearing right now. So see what I mean? You can find so much cool stuff here. Thanks again for watching, you guys. I hope you loved my creations. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. So definitely make sure you are following me on social media at Cybernova. Tweet me your creations and maybe they'll end up in a video. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you later, humans. Goodbye. Before you go, make sure you're subscribed and turn on the notifications so you don't miss a single upload. Click that tacos, bell. Where you at? I love tacos. It's a fact. Got it tatted on my back. <laughs> yeah. Tacos is a way of life, baby. Woo.